Look at that hair. It's just growing, ladies. Whoa! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sandra Burnett. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Guys, I really do appreciate your support. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a tea rinse. This tea today that we are making is loaded with nutrients for healthy, strong, growing hair. I put pride into making products that I know is going to strengthen your hair and cause your hair to grow. We're going to put this tea together and I want you to use it in your hair and also put comments in the comment section and let me know how this tea has helped your hair. Stay with me also to the end of this video because I'm going to show you how to apply the tea in your hair. I also want you to check out my hair products for strong, healthy, growing hair. So you will need yourself a mason jar and our first herb will be rosemary. It is said that rosemary stimulates the hair follicles to promote hair growth. It's also soothing and refreshing to the scalp. Helps with itchy scalp dandruff. We're going to add in one tablespoon of rosemary. Next we're going to add in some fenugreek, my favorite. Fenugreek is a powerful seed that is rich in iron and in protein. It's a factor for treating hair fall, treating dandruff. It promotes hair growth. It helps also with hair thinning. It thickens and makes the hair stronger and beautiful. It also prevents graying of the hair. We're going to add in one tablespoon of fenugreek. It is such a great seed. Guys, get yourself some fenugreek. Next, we're going to add in horsetail. Horsetail strengthens the hair. It regulates hair growth cycle. It helps with hair thinning and also hair loss. If you have like an itchy scalp, horsetail is what you need. We're going to add in one tablespoon of horsetail. Our final herb is cloves. Cloves increase the tissue under the scalp and it heightens the blood flow. It encourages hair growth. It get rid of dandruff. It also prevents prematuring gray. It prevents hair loss. Helps maintain a healthy scalp. Also helps the hair to be shiny and makes the hair soft. We're going to add in one tablespoon of cloves. I have a 16 ounce jar here and I'm going to add in 12 ounces of water. Finally, ladies, we're going to add in our essential oil, which is lavender oil. Lavender oil promotes effective hair growth. It thickens the hair. It helps with dandruff. And if you have an itchy scalp, lavender oil increases the blood flow. Your hair will grow healthy with lavender oil. So what we're going to do is we're going to shake our mix up really good here. And we're going to allow our mix to marinate for three hours. So it is three hours later and our herbal tea rinse is ready to be used. But before we use it, we're going to move it over into a measuring cup. I think this tea is so pretty. The brown is just looks so rich and full of so many great nutrients for our hair. 
We're going to move this tea over into our measuring cup, and then we're going to move it over into our spray bottle. Now ladies, keep in mind that this is a leave-in tea, so it means you do not rinse it out for stronger, healthy, growing hair. Now you can store it in the refrigerator up to about 10 days, if not longer. And you can use it every other day if you like. Now stay with me because I'm going to show you how to use this tea rinse. Ladies, you can purchase the products that I use today from my Amazon store in the description section of this video. Okay guys, so I have the spray here and I'm going to refresh just one of my twist out to show you how to use it. Very easy here. And so I'm going to take it down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all just kind of get the edges. Make sure I start to rub it in right away. And ladies, I do want to say to you, some of the products that I make may not be for you. But that's okay, and then some of the other ones may. Everybody's hair is so different. Some people hair will receive this product well, some people hair will not, don't be discouraged. That's the reason why I make so many products as well. You know, what doesn't work for others will work for others. So just look at it that way. Keep watching, thank you so much for watching my channel. I so appreciate it. Look at that hair, it's just growing ladies. Whoa! <laughs> It is just growing. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to skip those ends really good here. Just a little bit on my hair. You may also want to put something, a towel or something around you just to protect yourself. Okay. And so, and it smells good actually. Okay. And so what I'm going to use is some of my leave-in conditioner. This conditioner is the bomb. I'm getting people that have purchased it. They're emailing me or letting me know this conditioner is very nice in the hair. So I encourage you ladies to check it out. There's my website again, www.crownofglory.biz. Out there I also have my oils. I'm going to use the Shea Bay oil. I like the Shea Bay oil. My hair loves it. It really keeps it moisturized. But out there I have the Shea Bay oil, the fenugreek oil, the onion oil, and then also the meringue oil all of those are really good oils for moisturizing growing hair so my hair feels really really hydrated right now now I just showed you a really good example on how to moisturize your hair midweek you see those look at the curls are popping there what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do a two twist take my hair apart you want to be gentle with your hair ladies in a two twist and I do want to say we're about to do our next hair challenge. Just give you a heads up. So be watching for that video. It should be coming shortly. So just take your time twisting your hair. Or if you do a braid or whatever you decide to do. But my hair feels so moisturized and hydrated. Okay, so I'm at the end and I just kind of twist the ends just a little bit. Be careful that you don't break your hair. Okay, look at that braid there. Nice and long, growing. Guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me on today. I want you to remember to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification button so that you can be notified when I post new videos. Give me a thumbs up. Keep those comments coming. Bye, guys.